Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 20 career mode with Napoli and today we're episode 39 of the career mode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the football manager videos. Um, I did three over the past few days and now we're back with the FIFA 20 career mode. And like I say, today we have another episode of the Napoli career mode. So we're in January right now and we've not got many games left now till the end of the season. When I say games, I mean months. Because uh, like I say, we're in January so... We're coming towards the end of the season, and like I did mention a few episodes ago, this is going to be my last season at Napoli. But one thing I'm thinking of doing when the career mode does end is possibly simming a few seasons ahead, and then try to get another job in Italy, um, and then just see how the team looks compared to how we have left it in the future. Uh, that's one thing I'm thinking maybe you guys will be interested in. If I can work something around that way, then I will definitely try and show it, but... Anyway, guys, before we head on into today's episode, if you do enjoy it, don't forget, leave a like down below and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more FIFA content in your subscription box. So, into today's episode, we have Sassuela at home, uh, and then we have Juventus away from home. Going to be a tough game. I'm going to show you the league table in a minute and show you where we are compared to them. And then we have the Copa Nacional round of 16 against Bologna. So, pretty good episode today, and like I say, first thing we'll do is have a quick look at the league table and you can see right there, Juventus are five points ahead of us at the moment. And it's not looking good for us in terms of winning the title. Obviously, hopefully, if we win today, that, that closes the gap to only two points. And then possibly when we obviously meet, not possibly, we will play them again. Because uh, we haven't played them yet this season. When we do play them again, if the gap is still two points, then we should be able to push ahead of them. That's if they're not to lose another game until then. And hopefully we don't as well. Because obviously we still do have some tough games coming up. As you can see, one... The next episode is going to be Roma, and that is always a tough game for us. And um, like I say, we're going to go into the first game here against Sassuola and see how we do. The team is looking like this. I did see a comment in the last episode to put Lozano out on the left, considering Lee Rosani is out injured. Uh, I can't remember how long he's out injured for exactly, uh, but we're going to put Lozano there for now. And like I say, we've still got Insigne to on the left. We've got Bale, and we can always put Marlon out on the left. Or the right wing if we need him. We've got Felix up front. So we've still got the squad depth to see us through. But anyway, let's get into this first game. And hopefully get up to a win in today's episode. There we go. Bergvan on the right early on. Cross in. Unable to get past the defender. He's cleared it out for a corner. Maybe get a little goal off this. Let's have a see. Crossing it in. Goalkeeper's come out. Can't get ahead on it though, unfortunately. Fabian denied the header. There we go. Marlon's through. Going to make it 1-0. And unfortunately, he can't. Gone out for another corner. Two chances here early on into the game. Here we go, Messi whipping it in. Goalkeeper's come out again. Here we go, Verratti though. Can we find space? We can. Fabian, here we go, he's through. And, oh, as if. I thought that was going in. I thought we was almost 1-0 up there. And won ourselves another corner here. Three corners inside 12 minutes. Here we go, we get ahead on that. And we can off the defender's head. And it's gone in. Fabian's made it 1-0. I'm very surprised at that goal. We need to see a replay of that. I did not expect that going in. I expected it either off the post and out or the defender to clear it. And 1-0 very early on here in the game. Getting off to a very good start. You can see here whipped in. Marlon I think there with the header. And he somehow managed to squeeze it past. And I think it's gone off the goalkeeper and in. We'll see here now. Flicked and yeah off. I think it was off the goalkeeper. Then the defender then the goalkeeper again. Then off the post and in. But either way. Nice goal, and there we have it, 1-0. There he goes, Sassuela in and aside, in and around our box. Got a shot away, but Moretz got to that. They've won themselves a corner here, though. 30 minutes in, there's already been four corners this game. And here we go, and thank God it's gone wide. And luckily, like I say, it's still 1-0. There we go, Marlon, 2-0 is it. And as if they got to try to get another head, I think he did get his head to that second one there. And unfortunately, it was a pretty poor... I knew the second chance with the head was never going to go in. But here we go, Messi, Fabian. Here we go, Marlon. See, Lozano cut it back. Can he? And as if the goalkeeper... Goalkeeper. And defenders got to that. It's kicked it out. But here we go, throw in. Can't really see anyone. Here we go, in the middle. Is that Verratti? And it is. Here we go, cross in. Not the best of crosses. We play it out. And we could, but to their defender. Oh, there we go. Mistake at the back. Has led to Sassuela getting the goal to level 1-1. And you'll see from the replay here, stupid by me. I should have just cleared it away. Tried to play it around the defence and they were able to capitalise on that mistake. You can see here, passing in around the box. We managed to get it there though with our right uh, left back, sorry. 
And like I say, playing it across, shouldn't have done that with another striker lurking. And there he is, straight past Moret and made it 1-1. We have to work now, possibly get a sub on. Um, not too sure just yet, but we definitely need to work now and get this second goal and regain these three points. There we go, Bergvine's through. Knocked it too far and as if... Mistake by me again. My first game on today, but I shouldn't be making mistakes like that. I know not, not, not to knock it you know, further on that close to the goalkeeper anyway. And that might possibly be one of our last chances of the game. And I'm sort of fearful it is. As you can see now, they're not looking to attack as much, I don't think. Or maybe they are, actually. And here we go, the through almost. And he's played him through. Can Manalas get to this? And he can't. And as if, no way, no way. Oh my, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god, we have just lost three points in this game. And that now means the gap between us and Juventus has now widened to eight points, which is not great at all. And I think I just get a bit too comfortable. You can see here, just, I, I just don't know. What am I doing there, sliding with Manolas? I won't know. I think because I'm thinking he's going to shoot a bit earlier on. I don't know. Uh, mistake on my behalf. Like I say, one thing I'm worried about the most is possibly not losing, well obviously losing this game, but the gap now widening into eight points, which is not great at all because obviously at five it looks achievable to possibly go ahead in the league. But now at eight points, it's looking hard. And the foul has been committed, sorry, there on Verratti. Won ourselves a free kick here and not much time left. Free kick's not my speciality here. Madison brought him on for Messi. So let's have a quick see here. Shall we go? Shall we go there? Yeah, let's go there. Can he do it? Oh my God, off the crossbar. As if. That's the closest I have got so far to a free kick on this game. And it's gone off the crossbar. As if. So close. Maybe next time. But we'll have to see. Only five minutes left in this game. And like I said, I, just don't, I don't see us getting the winner at all. I really don't. I think after the first half, I was getting a bit too comfortable. Here we go. Here we go, Madison. Here we go. Fake shot. Can we get a pass across? We can. Oh, as if the ball's gone out. We've got ourselves a corner. Should we bring Felix on? Uh, yeah, I think we'll bring Felix on. Not much point in him coming on, really, but it could make a difference here. Uh, let's have a see. Should we get... It's a tough one with the corners. Goalkeeper's been coming out all day. And, of course, he's come out for that one, but he hasn't kept hold of it. Here we go, Felix. Come on. Make an impact here. C cross in. Header. And as if Manolas going out wide. Let's bring Allen on. Just for the sake of bringing him on, really. And uh, goal kick. But I think that is it. Like I say, I think first half. Got a little bit too comfortable. Sit back a little bit. You know, thinking, oh, one nil up. We'll easily get the second. Here we go. Here we go. Marlon. And as if. And as if. Possibly should have played it across there to Madison. And... Uh, not even concentrating right now. Just thinking we've already lost before we have. Here we go. Bergvine. He's got the pace. Here we go. Cross it in. Here we go. Marlon. And it's gone out. We've got ourselves a corner. How many chances can we have in this game? Here we go. Bergvine again. Crossed in. Here we go. Koulibaly. Oh, and as if. And as if. We had loads of chances there. Probably four or five chances there to make it level. And I believe this was the goal from early on, was it? Um... I don't think it was. Oh, yes. it. Oh, no, it wasn't. No. <laughs> I didn't think it was from the replay. It was Fabian with the goal. I was like, I'm sure it wasn't Marlon. But disappointing defeat. Very, very disappointing. You can see there we had 10 shots. Only five of them on target. Really poor in front of goal today. But anyway, we move on to the next game against Juventus. Hopefully, we can pick up a win in that game. And let's see how we do. So, here we are into the Juventus game. And first things first, we're going to have a look at our team and see... Who they're playing today. I know they've got Luka Modric in midfield. And you can see there he is playing. So they've got Ronaldo up front. Dybala on the right. Asensio on the left. Danilo at left back. Kimmich at right back. Chiellini and Delict at centre back. Rabiot, Ramsey and Modric. So they've got a really, really good team. But then again, so do we. You know, we've got Lionel Messi and they've got Ronaldo. So it's going to be head to the head. Head to head, sorry. Head of the head. Head to head of two of the greatest players in the world in this game. And see which team come out on top. Here we go, Messi, and as if I wanted to make it 1-0 there. Eight minutes in, great chance there. Won ourselves a corner here, though. But I was just thinking, we've got uh, Messi and Verratti on the pitch, not the tallest of players. 
And it's probably why, obviously, apart from, you know, the goalkeeper coming out, etc, etc, we need to get to this. Pass it back to the goalkeeper, thank God. Ronaldo straight on that there. Not Ronaldo, the baller, sorry, got that wrong. Um, but no, with them two in the, in the team, it's going to be really tough to get to headers. Here he is, Messi. And unfortunately, a second attempt. Here we go, Marlon's picked it back up, though. There we go, back to Messi, to Fabian, over the top. Oh, I wanted to get over the top to Messi. Not like a big chip, just one that would hopefully land in front of him. And we're able to pull it off. Won ourselves another corner. I just wish we had some taller players to actually get it in. I know we've got cooler ball in Manalas. And, you know, other players, possibly Martin, you could say as well, that can win the headers. But uh, it just must be my corner taking isn't the best. Here we go, Bergvine. Here we go, through the defence. Cut it back. Chiellini's on him, though. Here we go, header in. Fabian as if. Found himself in some good positions, though, Fabian. To be fair, I think he's got a medium-medium work rate. So it's probably why he's up the field a little bit more. Which I don't mind, because in cases like that, it's great to have him in and around the box to get on some chances. And there we go, into half-time. It's really even so far in this game. Messi's had two chances. I don't believe they've had a shot uh, just yet. We'll have a double-check now on the match facts. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure possession is going to be equal as well. Well, it more or less is in our favour a little bit. But you can see they haven't had a shot yet. So it's all in our favour, the game. Obviously, if we've had three shots, two on target, a little bit more possession. Um, but like I said, the second half still can be a different story, as we've seen in the last game. Here we go, Marlon. Going to make it 1-0. And as if off the bar. Here we go. It's still in the box, though. Couldn't get on the end of that. But I can imagine Juventus is going to be on the counter right now. Ramsey, where's he going to play it? Okay, he's played it out to Danilo. Playing it wide. No, oh, long, sorry, should I say. To Asensio. And Asensio's been a really great player for them. I remember the first game we played. Here we go, Bergvine. Through to Marlon. Short of options here. Going to have to take it on his own. Here we go, Finesse. And he's got it in. 1-0. There we go. There's the opener. 53 minutes in the game. Took a while. But he finally took the lead against Juventus. And I think now you could arguably be say that we have the better team than Juventus. Obviously, when the career mode started, their team was just unreal. And like I say, the first uh, transfer window, they brought in Asensio. And in the first game we played against them, I'm sure Asensio scored twice for them. So not left wing, he can be deadly. But like I say, think right now, you could say we do have the better team, on paper at least. There we go, Berg uh, Marlon, sorry, making it 2-0. And the reason why I was about to say Bergvine, because he did get brought down in the box there, so... There was going to be a penalty, I'm pretty sure of it. We'll see on the replay right now. And Marlon there celebrating in front of the Juventus fans. And they don't look happy at all. You can see here, get it to Berg. And, and, and he gets tripped up there. Could have a free kick or a penalty, I'm not too sure. Uh, but Marlon there finishing it off and making it 2-0. There we go, Marlon getting his hat-trick against Juventus. A big, big day for him here. And there we go. The game's over now for sure. 85th minute. Three goals. And like I say, Marlon with his hat-trick. A great little goal there as well. I didn't expect him to get the second header. Did he get I think it was the defender on the first head there. And there, I just thought the goalkeeper was going to get it. But Marlon overpowered and got the head on. And there we go, 3-0. So there we go. The game has ended 3-0 to Napoli. And a good, good victory today. But it just makes the last game we just played a little bit more... Uh, annoying could you say the fact that we lost knowing we won this game so the gap would have closed to two points but now at least the gap has closed to five and hopefully we can just close that gap even more as you can see Juventus unable to get a shot away at all this game in the second half they had more possession um, but like I say we still got the three goals uh, Marlon there with 10 match rating and gets the match ball so that was a good game all round so then guys just before we go into our last game of the episode against Bologna at home in the Coppa Nacional. There's a few things I just wanted to show you. And one thing I failed to mention at the start of the episode. Is that before today's episode. I simulated three games. Just because I thought. They weren't really of. Not importance. But I didn't feel like. They were going to be. You know. League defining games. And I thought we would have won. If we would have simmed them. So that's Fiorentina. I simmed that. I won 4-0. And then Lease Or Le Leek. Maybe how you pronounce it. Away from home. Won them 4-0 as well. Like I said, they were both just simmed games. And one thing I'm thinking for future episodes now, if we face a team that's not in the top four, let's just say, at home, I'm going to sim that game. So, for example, Roma. I know it's such a big game, but I'm thinking they're in the top four. Well, I'm guessing we'll have a look at the league table. 
But I'm just going to sim that game. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Yes, no, sorry. Let me rephrase that. So, if we play a team at home, I'm going to sim it. If we play a team away from home, I'm going to play it. But if the team away from home is with below the top four, then I'm just going to sim that game. Just because I feel like those games, we should be winning with the team. And the team we've got now, I don't want to say it's pointless, but... I feel like as if, you know, it's a guaranteed sort of win. So, I don't, I don't really want to bore you guys because the team we've got right now, as you can see, I think the lowest rate player is 84. And then after that, 85. And then even after that, I think it's 88, 89s. You know, all the rest of it. So, I just feel like we're going to guarantee the win. It just speeds up the career mode a little bit more as well, coming towards the end of it as well. So, one thing as well I noticed, you can see here, Pogba's moved to PSG. For 116.9 million euros, which I think converts, I think they mentioned it last game, I think 100 million pounds. So a lot of money spent there. Considering his age as well, I'm a little bit surprised of how much they spent. Because uh, we was going to buy him, I think at the start of this season or definitely halfway through last season. I was going to put a bid in for him, but I didn't want to in the end. So this is the team I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to quickly change it around before I go into the game. But here we go, into the last game against Bologna. So 30 minutes gone in this game and not really much has happened, I'm going to say. Had a few shots but still unable to find the back of the net. Lonya putting up a good fight here. Hopefully we can still see them off today. Uh, quite a big rotation. Uh, Zelinski's in. Allen's in. Felix up front as you can see here. Uh, Madison's in. Bale's in as well. So almost a full team and a little shot there from Felix. Didn't trouble the keeper. But like I say, main thing that stayed the same I think is the defence. Everything else has changed but hopefully with this team should still be able to see a victory today even if it's just a 1-0 here we go Bale has he still got it off the post Insigne here we go go for the finesse blocked by the defender unfortunately there we go Insigne with a cross in and able to find the one Bale's got it though here we go oh poor pass by Bale and still unable to find the back of the net uh, a few corners well I think we've had two corners since half time and still, like I say, can't really find anything in this game. It's becoming a tough one. Considering the last two games where there was quite a few goals within the game, this one's still stalemate at this point. Insigne put in a decent performance today, but I'm thinking maybe I should have put him up top. I don't know. And do I put him up top now? You know, I'm thinking maybe with his you know, fitness levels not being at his best, having played, you know, every, well, having played 60 minutes so far, would he still be effective up front with the fitness level he has right now? I'm not too sure. So here we go. We won ourselves a free kick here. Bale has gone down. Very interesting to see if they do get another card. Because I know one of their players is already on a yellow. Uh, unsure which player it is. I um, have to have a see here. Oh, they didn't even show it. Possibly I skipped it. But here we go. Free kick with Bale. I would prefer a right foot player on this. Wow, Felix. 98 power. Um, possibly Madison. What do you reckon? He is a bit far out for him, you could say. Let's try it there. Possibly a bit too much power there. Oh, mate. Okay. It was on target. That We're getting better. We're getting better at the free kicks. Still not getting him in the back of the net, which is most important. But we're getting there. There we go. Bale. Come on, Bale. And as if. Here we go. Felix, get on that. Can someone else get on that in the box? And they can't. Another good chance wasted there. Here we go, Madison. Pass it back. Can we get it in? And as if there's the defender there to stop that. Here we go, Insigne's got it though. Oh my god, the pass was put when it wasn't poor. Hit the defender or one of our players. But that pass was poor. A really poor pass. Not long left in this game. We're gonna have to go to extra time. Which I'm not a fan of. We did that I think once, and that was in season one against Roma. And I think we did end up getting the winner. Was it against Roma? I'm not too sure. I, I know we did go to extra time in one Copa Nacional. So there we have it, guys. We're going into extra time. Here's the results from the other games in the Copa Nacional. Inter winning 3-0. Roma winning 1-0. And then the other game is still tied. So they're going to go into extra time as well. So I'm thinking now, which subs do we bring in? Because obviously other players are going to be tied as well. But they're our best option right now. Now I'm thinking, possibly, do I... Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to change Zelinski because he's on a yellow. So I definitely don't want him going off. So I'm going to bring Fabian on for Zelinski. And let's I'm just going to change them two round. I don't know why. It's just what I prefer. Uh, Madison's going to come off. Now I'm thinking, do I bring Felix back? And uh, then change Madison off for Marlon. And then, but then I want to get Messi on at the same time. But then I do want to swap Bale out. So I'm thinking, 
Let's just swap Bale out for Lozano right now. So I've got one more sub to make. Now I'm thinking I'm going to bring... Do I bring Felix back? Is this either? Do I bring Messi on or Marlon? Now I think Marlon's going to make the difference. So I'm going to bring Felix back there to Cam. Madison going to come off for Marlon. And we're going to go with that. So hopefully that was the right decision to make. You see Insigne there is tired. Possibly could have swapped him out. But I did want to bring Messi on. But I just feel like Marlon, as you can tell from last game, getting himself the hat-trick can make a difference in games. So hopefully he can in this one. Here we go. Marlon over the top. And as if diving header didn't come off. Here we go. Felix got it through though. And Signe, he's not going to get beaten off the ball here, is he? Let's cut it back. And as if he is. Can we get to that? And we can't. Here we go. Bologna on the attack here. A bit short at the back. I don't really want to bring Koulibaly out. But there we go. He came inside. Didn't really make much of the ball. I thought he was going to cross it in, to be honest. That's why I didn't want to bring Koulibaly out. Here we go. Over the top. Insigne. Hasn't got much left in his tank here. I want to sort of like maybe play it to someone else. And as if it's been played out. And as if they're throwing. Must have gone off his leg. But which very close if it did. So I'm going to bring Messi on. Me being stupid. Forgetting you get four substitutions. So I brought Messi on for Felix. Even though Felix wasn't that tired. I could have possibly put Felix out on the left. For Insigne. But... Uh, I just feel like Felix wasn't on top of his game today. So Messi's going to come on. Hopefully playmaker. And he's going to make a play that is going to allow us to win this game. Let's have a see. There we go. Messi's through. Get the shot away and he can. And what has been brought down in the penalty box here. We better score this now. I hope to score this. I don't want to go through to penalties. And he's got a red card and he is out of the game. And I don't recognise that player at all. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how crucial he is to their team. But uh, bringing Messi down there, and I'm pretty glad, if I'm going to be honest, to get the penalty because obviously the shot didn't go in. And here we go. Who is on the spot? It is Fabian, but I do believe we have a better free kick taker in the team. Yeah, Messi. It's only right we get Messi on the spot here. Now, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough right now. Um, I need to get this in. I need to get this in. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Messi. Yes, and he's got it in. 1-0. That is all we need. Let's just go ultra defensive. I don't think we'll have to. But that is all we needed in this game. Christ. Took us to the 100th and 18th minute to get the winner of the game. Might be talking too soon there. Touch wood. Just touch wood. But there he is with the winning penalty, hopefully, to secure us the win, to go through into the quarterfinals. And I was just dreading going into full penalties after this if we didn't manage to find an equaliser. Here we go, might have to get ourselves another one here. Messi, hold it up. Here we go. Lozano. Here we go, through to Fabian. Can we get this across here to Marlon? I see you, Marlon. Can we get a 2-0? Off the post and as if. Off the bar, sorry, even. But there we go. The game's ended 1-0. And I'm so happy just to go through after that game. Tough, tough game. Like, I don't, I don't know what made it so tough. I just feel like some games... Even though we don't play the best of teams, like Bologna, no disrespect, but obviously they're not Juventus where we just scored a hat-trick with Marlon. But you can go to a game like that, look at that, we had 13 shots, 8 shots on target, and only managed to score a goal 2 minutes to go in an extra, extra time. So, just a mad game all over. Anyway, let's end the game and go back to the menu. So here we are after the game, you can see there is some games that have already been played in the round of 16. Now obviously we've already seen... Last game, the Inter went through, Roma went through, Torino getting knocked out by Verona. And obviously the next lot of 60, well the next lot in the round of 16, sorry, so I say, are uh, still yet to play. Juventus, Lazio, Milan. Let's see who goes through in that and who we will face next. Hopefully not Roma, because I think we faced them every time in the Coppa Nationale. So it'd be nice to play a different team, if I'm going to be honest. But anyway, that is it for today's episode, guys. Here's how the league table is looking at the end of today's episode. Five points away from Juventus. But more importantly, look behind us. Milan, a point behind us. Inter Milan, only two points behind us. And the same with Lazio. So, really tight. Juventus running away with it almost at this point. So, we need to catch up with them. Hopefully, we can in the next episode. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all next time.